Hi there, my name is Axiom, and now that Foundry have partnered with Wizard of the Coast, we're going to take a look at the updates and changes for D&D version 3. Okay, first things first. The most obvious change is the reimagined character sheet, and this is a really nice overhaul of the overall sheet. It's a much better design and an improved organisation all round. What you get now is you get a main front sheet, you get an area for putting favourites down etc that you can uh, grab from the other sections and basically it's broken down by details, your inventory, features, spells, effects and biography. On the details page you get obviously the initial details of your character. And most things, when you hover over them, they will come out with the extra information that should be in there about your character. Next on the list is the inventory is broken down nicely. But now they've also added that bags will actually work if you click on them properly. You can now uh, drag and drop things into your backpack and it works as a container correctly rather than what it was before. A nice addition all round. Under the features section, you get to look at your class and all your other features that you're gaining from that and from other things. All nicely laid out in, in ways that make sense. For a character that has spells, the spell section is all nicely filled out as well. And everything is neat and tidy. The effects section is nice and easy to understand as well. You can see temporary effects, passives, inactives, and any conditions whether or not you can be affected by them in the first place. Or turn, toggle them on and off depending if they're uh, something that is happening to you. Another nice option to have. And then a biography section as you would expect. This new character sheet can now be linked to a main party sheet here. So when you create a group, as I have here, you now have the option when you right hand click on it, you can go down and set it as the primary party and there can only be one of these. And then everything gets linked to that. This then obviously gives you the option of distributing loot to the inventory of the party and then they can then it can be split between the characters after that. What I've done is made a journal sheet for some examples of inline roles, etc. to help with some of this, but um, checks and saves, damages, references, but I'm going to first show off treasure here. There is now syntax in here so that you can literally award directly to the party if you add the right data into your adventure. For example, click on this 50 gold pieces and I can decide to split it between everybody or I can send it straight to the party. So now the party's inventory has 50 gold pieces in it added from that. And the same goes if you want to uh, award for platinum or for any others, you can just literally have that and send it all to the party here. So I'm going to do this a couple of times. So there's a bunch of coinage now in the in the party's inventory. And then by going to the manage currency section here, and then you can distribute that off to your players after that. Going back to this journal that I've made, let's have a quick look at what we've got under here. So we can see we can do all types of checks and saves now directly from a journal sheet. So in this case, if I pick one of my players and then I go, OK, I want them to do a strength check. I can either roll it for them here or I can go in and request a roll and that will come up in the chat line and they can roll from there. This can be done for checks and skill checks saving throws and there's even some options to have options like checking the passive perception of the party etc so you can have this directly in line in your journals you can roll direct damage from a uh, journal as well and you can reference different conditions etc directly if need be spell schools creature types and generally look at some other rules as well if need be this journal will be linked in the comments below so i hope that will be useful Another big change is to tokens where you now have the option for dynamic ring. If we go into the cog of this token at appearance, there's now an option for dynamic ring under there. And then you can specify the path of the image that's going to be shown in the center of the dynamic ring. And then you can pick a ring color and you can have it either pulsing or a ring gradient or sort of a wave type motion that can be going on to give, give, give it a bit of a color change, which is quite nice. But the main things that this ring does allow for is when you're in combat. So for example here, I'm going to I'm going to use Frode's attack here. And he's going to hurl an axe, check whether or not he hits. And we get the check that he has beaten the AC of this raider. So I'm going to then roll the damage and that's going to come through. He's done eight damage. And then I can select the enemy that he has actually attacked. And then if I go to apply damage, 
you can see the little ring blip and the colors change giving another little extra highlight that something's going on. Early days with this dynamic ring, but it definitely seems interesting. I do hope we will get some more options to edit how this ring looks with time. I'm going to give a quick bonus here for a module that's been updated in a way that I find interesting, and that's Epic Rolls 5e from Ripper. And this has been redone in the style of the new sheet. If you go down here, there'll be a new extra dice here that we can click for an Epic Roll. We pick who's involved, so I'm just going to pick the party so that they're all involved. In this case, I need them all to make me a constitution saving throw. I want to show the DC so we can see that's going on. I'm going to use the average of all of them so it's, so it's more like a skill check in this case and then if you start this epic roll you get a nice initial screen comes up and then all of the uh, players involved will have, be able to roll the dice on the main screen and once the check is done we will find out if they passed or failed or oh, and the epic roll this time they failed but yes a really nice update and another module that i think will be very useful going forward if there's anything anyone wants me to go in more depth on on any of this leave me a comment but thank you for listening and please like and subscribe for more content.